Hi, let's talk a little bit about screen lines. Screen lines are um, analysis, uh, is a type of analysis made to compute total movements. For example, in and out of an island, movements in and out of an island, you may have five, six, ten bridges, and the f link flows on them are not all right, but you the model might not be all wrong because the total in and out of the island might be right might be right uh, you're just getting wrong the distribution of the network so you might have a problem of with your network or their assignment procedure assignment procedure but your generation for example seems right because the total in and out is right um, so let's perform the analysis Let's go. I'm going to open our pre assignment map. It doesn't have the link flows here. To link the link flows, I'm going to use join data views. This button, this chain button. And here, table. Okay. And I'm linking ID with ID. That's okay. Here we have all the flows for all the links. If you had your after assignment map uh, opened, you don't have to do this this step. But to perform the analysis now, we go to planning, assignment utilities, and again, if you don't have planning here, go to procedures, planning or show all, planning, assignment utilities. Oh, sorry. The layer that has to be active is the highway street, of course. Planning. Assignment utilities, screen line analysis. Okay. So it's asking for a table here. We don't have a table. Let's make a table. New screen line. Screen line. Okay. Save. And um, our flows are in this highway street plus the assignment file. I'm using dual fields. Count for the counts. And the the what screen line does it adds all the uh, flows in uh, going right to the left and then left to the right or crossing the line or go in or going out the screen line. So if we have the counts provided in your map, here is the assignment map provided. For your exercise you have a map like this where the counts are provided here. You could just uh, uh, very easily compute, uh, introduce all this information on the map. In order to not uh, uh, make it necessary let's change it to also counts flow speed lane capacity time flow let's put flow in both of them because um, then we don't have the problem of what is that information. It, they're going to both be be flow. Okay. Okay. Let's treat missing phases values are zero. Let's exclude centroid connectors. Yeah, let's exclude centroid connectors only if you made a selection containing the centroid connectors. It's not our case here. It's okay. And where do you want to put? You want to put draw the links here or you want to write on the table? Let's draw the links, the, the, the lines. It's easier to visualize. It's okay. Let's 
one one possible screen line is everything that is going up and down. Right? Let's open again the assign utilities. Oh, the two boxes here. I just found it. Let's create a line. Let's say I'm worried if everything that is going north south is correct. I can add a screen line here. Right? I can add another screen line here. And I can and I still can add another screen line here. So everything that goes left to right, everything that goes uh, north south on these two lines on these these two sections uh, after drawing the lines you can compute the results it's this button here and here we have for screen line one is this one that it, let's let's say North south. It's the north line. Screen line two is north south. The south. This is west east. So we we know what they are. So we have total flows. We have the inflows and outflows. Inflows and outflows for all the the screen lines. And now you can add up the flows you have in your map to see if they match these. And what you can do is actually come here and type them them in the count if you want and recompute the ratios. It's not necessary, we can do that on on Excel just as easy. Good luck.